Hello guys, hope you are having a lovely day. I am Divansh Kuvali, and you are watching Tech University. Today, I will be talking with you about another data science course that is offered by McMaster University, which goes by the name of Master of Engineering in Computing and Software. So, in this video, I will be telling you about the program overview, curriculum, how to apply, admissions criteria, fees, scholarship options if there are any. So, stay tuned to the last of this video to know everything about this course and share this video with your friends who are searching for data science courses. And please do subscribe this channel. I have been posting a lot of data science courses videos in the past and I will continue to do so in the future as well. Now, if we talk about the McMaster University, it is situated in Hamilton, Canada. And Hamilton is one of the most vibrant places for the businesses. It is one of the growing fields for IT professional. So this university has got a world rank of 140, which is really, really good. It's a publicly funded university. Student to faculty ratio as any top university would have is seven is to one scholarship. Uh, yes, there are a lot of lot of scholarships available in this international students. More than 5000 students are there. So you will be getting a very cosmopolitan environment there. If you talk about the subject rankings, they have got a world rank of 194. So it's a very decent rank given the popularity of Canadian universities and the graduate employability ranking is also under 100. So it is a very reliable institute among the employers. Now, if we talk about this course, this will be two years in length and uh, the basic minimum criteria is you must have bachelor's degree in engineering, computer science or mathematics with B minus average. So this is what they require for this course. If you see the program structure, you need to complete six half graduate courses and you need to complete the independent project. And uh, this course is in data science in the respect of specialization. So you're going to have to select the specialization in order to get yourself into data science. So there is this uh, specialization known by the name of security, privacy and data analytics. This is what you're going to choose. Let's just talk about the requirements of this particular M engineering degree. So apart from all the things that I told you that you have to complete six half courses and independent project, you have an option of advanced credit option. So you will be getting extra credits for that. You will be assigned a supervisor from the department to guide you through the program. And this is the graduate supervisor. Apart from that, you will be getting a project mentor as well. I will be telling you about. So the course requirements are you need to complete at least four 700 level courses, 700 in the sense that you will be getting the course codes and uh, whichever the course codes are uh, above the value of 700. That means that are 700 level courses similar goes with the 600 level courses. So you need to complete at least 700 level courses and at most two courses from the 600 level pool. And apart from that, you can complete at most two courses from the external departments with the prior permission of the supervisor and the graduate advisor. Apart from that, you will need to complete a project and for that project, you will be assigned a mentor who will be having a project most probably in collaboration with the industry. So it is possible that you might end up doing project in the company, but you will be submitting a report for that particular project into your department and then the department committee will decide on what kind of score will you be getting for that project. So this project will last for four months. And as for the timelines, you need to complete all the study courses within the 16 months from the entry of the program. So you will be getting admitted from September. So within 16 months from September, you will have to complete all the core courses. And uh, within the 20 months of starting, you will have to complete the project. Now, if we talk about the area of specialization here, they have club data science, data analytics and cybersecurity together. And one thing I like the most about this particular uh, course, uh, which I haven't found yet in any of the courses so far that you get to tailor your own curriculum. There is no hard and fast rule that you have to complete a particular course in order to get your degree. They have given you a complete liberty to complete any course you want. All you have to do is to complete at least six courses. You can complete even more than that if you are able to do so within the 16 month span and uh, whatever courses you want to study, you can. So for the data and security part, you can see that they have got a dedicated data science research lab as well. I'm not going to go into it. I will pass this link to the video description. You can also study about the faculty profiles as well. They have given the faculty profiles here and these are the related courses. So as you can see, this is the course code CAS 767. So this is 700 level course that I was talking about. So there are a lot of courses. The bucket is there. You can see this. I will pass this link to in the video description. You can choose whatever course you want to study 
at minimum you will have to study six courses and you can select these six courses as and when you like so it's a very completely personalized course that you will be studying here as for the applications the applications is for only the september term that is the fall term and uh, the number of students for every year changes so there is no uh, specific number that they have explicitly given that how many seats are there gre scores are not taken into consideration for admission that is one such good thing they have clearly written that they do not want GRE at their disposal. As for the admission requirement for M engineering program, you need to have B minus minimum average in the last year courses. And for the degree requirements, there is no specific degree requirement that you need to have a three year or four year degree. So I am safely assuming that three year courses and four year courses both are eligible alike as for the application deadlines these deadlines doesn't matter for us but it is an indication that the applications will open more or less on the same date so you can expect the applications to open uh, in the last week of october or the first week of november and will go on till march 30th or maybe the last week of March. So these are the timelines you can follow. You can mark your calendar for November first week. Required documents. So most of the things are generic as any university would require like academic transcripts, degree completion certificates, statement of interest is required. That is more or less the SOP. Resume is required. English language proficiency scores are required if applicable and proof of permanent resident status is also required if you are having a PR from Canada. And that is not generally true with the most of the international applicants because see most of the students are going for the first time for Canada. Uh, if you are through express entry system, that is a totally different thing. Then you can show the permanent resident status and uh, then you need to have two academic references. If for the English language proficiency until December 2020, they were accepting the Duolingo test uh, because of the COVID pandemic, most probably English language proficiency is required when English is not your native language and english is not the language of instruction at your previous institution star i will tell you the meaning of star so if you don't get into one of these two conditions you will have to give either TOEFL or IELTS score to them so for TOEFL you need to have a score of 88 out of 120 in ibt and uh, for IELTS you need to have a minimum overall score of 6.5 out of 9 and a minimum band score of 5.5 for each section so there is a sectional cutoff as well now on to the star so star means if english language is the language of instruction at your institution what you can do you can be exempted from the english language proficiency and how you can do that how you can avail that you need to get an official letter from your institution stating that the language of instruction was english or you can have that written on your official transcripts that english is the language of information so these days most of the universities are writing in fact that English was the language of instruction uh, at our university. So as for my institute, uh, they were offering the mark sheets to us and on the back it was written that the language of instruction was English. So if I uh, intend to go for this course, I will not be going for uh, the English test. I will just have to give them that mark sheet and that will work as an exemption for me. Now, if we talk about the academic references, you don't need to uh, submit the reference letters as part of your application. What you have to do is to give the name of your referees, the professors basically, and their contact information. The McMaster University will be reaching to them with some sort of form. They have to fill that form on their own and that's it. That's how they're going to have a reference check on you. So how you need to apply, you have to apply through their mosaic portal. Here is the portal link. I will pass this link to the video description as well. And uh, here's the how to apply. So before going into how to apply, let's just see the points that they have given. So. It takes approximately 30 to 45 minutes to complete an application and uh, you must save your application frequently so in order not to lose the uh, progress on the application made and you have to upload all the documents before hitting the submit button you need to make sure you have submitted all the documents you have to provide an active email address 
that uh, you can access so all the correspondence that will be made will be through that email address and the individual file sizes should not exceed 5 MBs so each of the files should be lesser than 5 MBs and as for the application fees you need to submit a 110 Canadian dollar application fees if we convert it into Indian rupees that would correspond to 6400 INR as of the current rate now let's just go into the how to apply page for September 2022 in term. So application instructions. Let's just see application instructions. So start your application. So how is, this is how you're going to do visit the application page. Personal background. Personal background means you have to provide your personal details like name and previous job experience, father name, maybe these kind of things and select your program here. You have that M engineering program. So you have to select that program. You then need to provide the email address through which you will be communicated by McMaster University. You have to fill in your education details. What have you done? Please do not include your high school academic history. All they want is to have your bachelor's degree. So you don't need to have add the high school and uh, just add the institution on, in which you have studied your bachelor's and the time period of the study English language proficiency. If you have given the test, uh, if you are not uh, one of the exempted candidates, you will be putting your scores in this and then there will be some program specific questions. So I don't know what kind of questions will pop up in M engineering, but I guess that would be OK. You can see them and answer them on your own research information. If you have any research interest, so you can just uh, propose a research topic interest. Also, you may be requested to identify potential supervisors. So it's it's a good idea that you read about the faculty beforehand then it comes to references all you have to do is to give their names and contact information and they will be reaching out to them directly and they will be filling a form declaration you have to declare that all the document all the information that you have passed is correct and you allow that uh, this data be stored with the mcmasters database and uh, finally you review your application finalize and pay 110 dollars for this particular course and 150 dollars for mba courses so this is how you're gonna apply this was how to apply and once you received an offer letter congratulations you have your offer letter in hand and uh, respond to your offer letter you will have to respond to your offer letter through the same portal uh, through which you applied now if you talk about the graduate fees the total tuition fees for 21 22 in the faculty of engineering was for master in engineering course computing and software is not here but for other master of engineering courses uh, the fees was 1270 canadian dollars per unit for international students for level one level one means year one and for level two means year two and uh, master of engineering in computing and software two would be on the same and most of the master courses are 60 credits 60 unit courses uh, here they haven't clearly written that how many credits you have to complete in order to get your master's degree but i am assuming that there are 60 credits that you have to complete and for 60 credits the total fees if we multiply this by 1270 comes out to be 76200 canadian dollars which if we convert in indian rupees corresponds to 44 lakh 48,000 Indian rupees as of the current rate. Apart from these fees, there are some supplementary fees as well. You can see like dental insurance plan, bus pass, health insurance plan. So these are some fees that are miscellaneous and we'll have to pay one time a thousand Canadian dollar fees, which if we uh, convert to Indian rupees corresponds to 60,000 INR as of the current rate. Now the main thing scholarships. Scholarships are the most important right now because see the fees I saw was really really expensive and uh, someone might be looking for a scholarship so there are a lot of scholarships and they have given a legend if there is a single order sign uh, you will be getting up to a scholarship of 2500 Canadian dollars if there are double dollars you will be getting 2500 to 10,000 if there are triple dollar sign we'll be getting a scholarship between 10,000 to 20,000 and then 20,000 and higher so there are a lot of uh, scholarship options like bursaries and academic grants completion and postdoctoral is not meant for this particular course externally you can look out for government you can look out for indigenous as for the local people the canadian people internal and travel so these are these scholarship options that you can see and there is a drop down so in this i'm going to go with the computing and software and you can see there's a rainbow fund mcmaster graduate bursary so these are all these scholarships in form of the bursaries if you talk about the external scholarships so you can see the Amelia Earhart fellowship it's a very famous fellowship in Canada 
for most of the universities is the applicable double dollars so you're gonna get something between 25 to 10 thousand Canadian dollars for Japanese students uh, if you're a student from China there is a scholarship for you guys as well so you can see there are a lot of scholarship options Fulbright Canada scholarships this is one of the most famous scholarships already available Hugh Morris scholarship look at the number four dollar sign so you're gonna get more than 20,000 scholarships so these are a lot of scholarship options you can look out for there are some government scholarships as well I will pass this link into the video description so this was all about this course from McMaster University I hope you like this video if you liked it please press the like button please subscribe my channel I'll keep posting such data science courses on this channel next time I'll come with another data science course till then au revoir